Hi, everyone. Hi, Miss. Hey, how are you? How are you? Welcome, Maria, Wendy, David, Moises, Betsaida. Welcome, Fatima, Larissa. How are you? How are you this night? Very well, Miss. Nice. Very well. Yes. Yeah. So good, teacher. So good. Excellent. That's very nice to see you one more day, one more time to continue practicing in this process. All right, to begin, remember yesterday we were with some of the adjectives. Let's continue here with some practice with a conversation. Okay, we have this conversation. This one is about describing. Continue describing here. And the title is, she's so pretty. And we have here, this one is about Lauren and Justin. I hear you have a new uh, uh, girlfriend. New girlfriend, Justin. Yes, her name is Tiffany. She's really smart and she's so pretty. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About five. And then you have another one, right? That will be probably like five feet or it can be also 1.75 centimeters, I guess. Yeah, that is pretty tall. Remember, pretty tall, that will be very tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful brown hair. And how old is she? I don't know. I think it's a little rude to ask. This one is similar than the conversation we saw yesterday, just that some of the phrases change and some of the adjectives also change. Now tell me, do you have new vocabulary here? What is the meaning guess? Guess, guess is like suppose. I suppose, I guess. Okay. Any other one? Rude to have. What does it mean? Which one? I'm sorry. Rude. Rude. Rude, Rude is Rude. like, it means like when you're not nice, like grossero. Okay. Mm -hmm. That means like Thank rude. You. You're welcome. All right, now tell me here, what else do you learn about Tiffany? What else? What is the description that the guy says about his girlfriend, his new girlfriend? How old is she? Does it mention? No, right? It doesn't mention. What color is her hair? Her hair is brown. Brown hair? It's brown. Very good. Brown. How tall? Yeah. Brown. Very good. And is she very tall or is short? Very She's tall. Very She's tall. tall. She's very tall. Right. Very good. Okay. Now let's continue with another one. We're going to watch a video. And it says here, in this session, you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Now, these ones are with more specific. So let's go ahead with the next part. How old? For height, we use how tall. Hi, in this lesson, you will learn how to describe. No problem with the video? No problem. No, no problem. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? 
She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. All right, so now let's see about the grammar part. As we know here, to describe people, we have different manners. So if we have, for example, general appearance, that will be physically, right? Also, we have the height, we have the hair, we have also the age. In the case of general appearance, we have some examples like, what does she look like? So it's investigating about what's the physical appearance of the person. She's tall with brown hair. She's pretty. Does he wear glasses? No, he wears contacts. Now, if you use about the height, how tall is she? That's when you want to ask about, right? If the person is tall, is very tall, if he's short, medium height. She's one feet 78. Now, she's five. Also, it can be foot or feet and 10 centimeters. How tall is he? He's medium height. So it's like average, right? Not very tall, not very short. In the case of the hair, how long is her hair? It's pretty short. It's like very short. What color is his hair? It's dark. It's light brown. In the case of the age, how old is she? She's about 32, right? When we say about and we have a number, it's because it's an approximate. It's not like the exact number. She's in her 30s. If it's in the 30s, probably it's 30, 31, 33, or until 39, it will be in that period of time. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Maybe no exact quantity, can be 20, 21, 22 until 29. If we talk about the heights, we know that it depending on the country because in the United States, they measure like foot. That's the measure they use. Here in El Salvador, we use it in meters. So if you have five foot 10, the metric will be one meter 78 tall. If in the case that here, five feet, 10 inches tall, or one meter, 78. That will be five inches, right? Or 10 centimeters, one, 78 centimeters. So it depends on the country that we are. Do you have question about this? This is just like an introduction to know like, how to describe. We're going to see more examples. Everything clear, teacher. Yes. Okay, let's move then on the next part. As you saw in the video there, if we talk about physically, the appearance of the person, we need to use what? And then remember, we use also do or does, because it's depending on the subject. So if they ask you, what does your father look like? What do your siblings look like? In the case of the age, we need to combine how old with the birth to be. How old is your mother, for example? How old are your siblings, your cousins, your friends? In the case of height, 
we mentioned that is how tall. How tall is your best friend? How tall are your parents? So that will be like the three forms that we can make a description. Now let's see about some of the examples. Notice that here we have about general appearance. We have beautiful, pretty, elegant, handsome, cute, funny, gorgeous, ugly, attractive. So there we have general appearance. I have some examples. Number one, what does your mother look like? Here, we're investigating about the physical appearance of the person, in this case, about your mother. She's tall, black hair. She's very pretty. What color are her eyes? They are green. How long is her hair? It's pretty long. Number two. What does your best friend look like? His short brown eyes. How old is he? He's 20 years old. How tall are your twin brothers? They're medium height. Questions? What is the meaning? Twinning? Twin, twin. Brothers. Twinning okay. means, let's suppose that you have brothers and they were born exactly the same day. And they have very, very equal physical appearance. That is twins. Yes? They are identical physical appearance. Okay, thank they you. Have the same you. mother. You're welcome. They're gemelos, right? Hermanos gemelos, twin brothers. For that reason is that here you're asking in a plural manner, how tall are your twin brothers? They're medium height. So they are not very tall. They are not very short. They are average, like a normal, normal height. Any other question? Handsome, guapo. Handsome. Thank you. Thank you. Any other one? Yes. Teacher, not is a question. Yes. Uh, yes. Go ahead. It's, it's just information. In the platform here, mm -hmm. we have a message about someone that cannot be in the class. And oh, it has in problems. the okay. yeah, in WhatsApp group, we have <laughs> a lot of messages about the same. Ah, oh, okay. Yes, yeah, some of them this. they cannot because uh, of work, right? Yeah, some of them yeah. just passing okay. the, the notification of them. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for the My information. Pleasure. I will take. Thank you so much. All right. Any other one? So notice that here we investigate different things about the appearance here. Can be talking about the hair, can be talking about the eyes, can be talking about the height, also about the age. We got an exercise here. We have here the answers, but we are going to formulate the question. So it says, write questions to match these statements. Then compare with the partner so let's see in the case of number one the answer is my father is 52 so what is the question how old is your, your father? father that's right how old is your father excellent that's right what about number two How tall are you? Ah, that's right. Yes. How tall are you? Great job. That's nice. Continue. Daisy, what about number three? The answer is my cousin has red hair. What's the question? How, how 
color is your is causing hair? Mm -hmm. Similar than that, but you can ask about what color. Ah, uh, what color? Uh -huh. What color is your cousin's hair? Remember that here we can use a possessive, right? Because here the possession is hair and is the hair of your cousin. So you can use a possessive noun here. Nice. What color is your cousin's hair? My cousin has red hair. That's all right. Good one. Fatima, continue. Number four. The answer is no, he wears contact glasses. If in the answer you have he, you can uh, assign a name. Um, no, no entiendo lo que me está preguntando. Yeah. Okay, in this one you have the answer, right? The answer is no, he mm -hmm. wears contact glasses. So it has to be a yes, no question. Uh, okay, uh -huh. so, what do you mean lenses? Oh, lenses, they are contact glasses. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, so no. the normal ones? The normal glasses, like to see very well, are these ones, right? You have the eye glasses. Mm -hmm. This one, we can you see it? No, right? You don't see it very much. <laughs> but this will be like uh, eye glasses. But the contact glasses, we cannot see them. Just put them. They are contact glasses. They are lenses. Lenses are contact glasses. Mm -hmm. So the answer is negative. Uh -huh. And it's what? a yes, no question. Yes, no question. Does. Uh, does is. Does. You need to mention the subject. As in the answer, we don't know the subject, you can assign a name. Uh, For example, if you say, that's Wilfredo, that's William, that's uh, Carlos, that's uh, Mike. Are you does he wear contact lenses? Does he? Does, does he, he wear wear uh -huh. contact Where? lenses? All right. Glasses. So let's suppose that you say that's Mike, because in the question is necessary like to put emphasis on the subject. Yeah, on the specific you, name. If right? you use a name. Uh, aha, that is correct. Yes. Does Mike wear? Let's suppose that they are eyeglasses. Is correct say uh, over understand? Over understood. Oh, over understood. For uh -huh. say, se over understood. Uh -huh. Correct. Over understood. Uh -huh. Or is okay. over understanding. Yeah, you can also say it. So if you say, does my wear eyeglasses? We know eyeglasses, we have to put them on your eyes, right? They are they're very but different. I, eyeglasses, not, not is uh, like... This one. Yeah, like that. These ones are eyeglasses. Yeah, and because contact lenses is another th another you, thing. You can you don't put them, you don't put them yeah. on your eyes, but yeah. they are contact. They are contact. Son lentes de contact. Those are lenses. Is correct that he sure. where you can use it. Yes, correct. In the question okay. is just like to 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 mention the specific name of the subject. Okay. Okay right because okay. it's necessary okay. to know but if you already mentioned si en la conversación ya se mencionó antes entonces ya no es necesario volver a repetir el nombre and i have another question what is the means of statements statements that means enunciados okay thank you you're welcome as a statements they can be in different tenses right it can be affirmative statement can be negative can be questions Yes, no questions. And what is the other synony synonyms? Synonyms. You can say sentences too or tenses. Okay, thank you. What's the other case? Number five. He's tall and very good looking. William, what do you think? What would be the question in number five? Uh what he looks like auxiliary because it's a question that's, what? that's right uh-huh that's correct because we have a verb the verb is look 
Yeah, what and does? if we speak about Mike, we can use Mike. Um, uh, all right, that's good. What does Mike? What else? Looks like. Look like. Now we use look, the base form. Yeah, of yeah, the yeah. Word, we, right? we have the, the auxiliary. Exactly, that's correct. What does Mike look like? Ah, he's tall and very good looking. That's all right. Good one. Maria, help us with number six. The answer is my sister's hair is medium length. The microphone, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. That's that's it's not a yes, no question. It's a that age. My sister's oh, hair yeah. is my new. my sister. Uh -huh. That is, is the subject. Is your sister? That is my sister's hair is medium length. So it's investigating about your sister's hair. That's that's your sister. That's your sister. It's different, different. How long? How long? Uh huh. Is your how, how long is your sister? How long is? It's is like this Jewish. one. Uh huh. It's like this one. Look, remembering this part. Oh, that's the see about about the hair. How long is her hair? So to investigate about what's the size of the hair, then we use this structure. How long? So how what is the form? Is... Uh -huh. How long? How long is? Uh -huh. How long is? How long is? Hi. Your sisters. You. Your sisters. Hi. Hair. Hi. Yes, that's right. How long is your sister's hair? My sister's hair is medium length. So it's investigated about the size, the size of her hair. Thank you. What about seven? The answer okay. is I have dark brown eyes. Wendy Beatriz, help us, please. Okay. What color is your eye? Plural. Your eyes. Your eyes. What uh -huh. color your eyes? Are. Are your eyes. What your color? Eyes. Are. Yes, that's good. Your eyes. Uh, what color are your eyes? I have dark brown eyes. Another that it can be is my eyes are dark brown. Dark brown. That can be two manners, right? The one that you can mention. Now let's repeat them. Let's see Marvin. Me, Selena, and Milet uh, write to in the WhatsApp group. Oh, all right. Thank you. And she has problems. Okay. I'm going to inform too. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's go ahead on the reading part. We're going to begin. Uh, let's see. Yes, Marvin. Are you pressing Marvin? Freddy? Yes. Hello, Freddy. Can you please read number one, the question? Okay. How old is your father? Thank you. Continue, Brenda. Brenda Carolina. How tall are you? On um, the answer, please. This one. My father. Uh, okay. My father is 52. 52. Thank you. Daisy, question number two. How tall are you? How tall are you? How tall are you? That's right. Thanks. Thank Continue. You. Betsaida, the answer, please. Um. One hundred 
one six. say like in better sorry sorry this one indicates the matter like one, one point aha uh -huh, very good 67 six, 67 uh-huh centimeter centimeters very good nice oh, thank you or five, five feet six six that's right very good yes wilfredo number three what color is your cousin's hair? Cousin's hair, very good. Maria, the answer. My cousin? The microphone, Maria, please. Excuse me. Go ahead. My cousin, my cousin has uh -huh. red hair. Red hair. Red hair. That's red right. Hair. Hair. Here, that's good. Thanks. Sandy, continue. Number four, please. That's my wear eyeglasses. Right. Thank you. Let's see. Estela. Estela Guadalupe. No, he was Bonta lessons. Lenses. Lenses. Um, Thank you. Good one. David. Number five. David Moises. Oh no, he said was not present in the moment. Andrea de Los Angeles. Yes. Yes. Uh, what does my look like? That's right. Thank you, Sulma Beltran. Um, he's tall. Is the number? It's number five, but the answer. Uh, he's tall. What does my? What does? might look like mm -hmm. now the answer he's tall he's tall and very good looking very good looking thank you that's right eric eric are you present jennifer jennifer sarai germán Claudia Carolina? Yes, teacher. Yes. Can you please read the next one? Number six. How long? How long is your sister here? Hair. Your sister's hair. Here. That's right. Thank you. Roberto Carlos. Hey, my sister. Sister's hair. hair. Sister's hair. Is medium length. Length. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Diana, are you present, Diana? William? Number seven. Uh, excuse me, I didn't put attention. Number seven, please. Read the question number seven. Ah, okay, okay. What color are your eyes? That's right. Thank you. Let's continue, Brenda Carolina. I have I have, I have dark brown bro eyes. Brown brown eyes. Brown brown eyes. That's good. Or what's the other action? My eyes. My are my, my eyes. Are brown. Eye, are brown. Eyes are brown. That's all right. Are brown. That will be like the other option that we have. My eyes are brown. And you're always describing them. Questions about this? What is mean length? Length. Length means the largo. Thank you. You're very welcome. Any other question? Okay, let's continue with the next part. Okay, there we have the other one, right? The other exercise in the platform there. Which one do you think is the first one? Because it says, write questions to match this statement. The answer is my brother is 26 years old. What will be the answer? 
How old is your brother? All right. How old is your brother? And that will be the logical form of question, right? So there you have it. Let's move on the next part. The other part is where we have another video. But let me show you which is about. The objective, in this session, you will listen to a dialogue where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Now, let's move to the video. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh. Well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. All right, notice that here, there we have, now it's investigating about a person that probably you don't know here. They are looking at in a party, right? Looks that they're in a party. So let's see here, we have different people with different characteristics. They are wearing different type of clothing in different colors, also with different appearances, physical appearance. Now let's check here. It's a conversation between Liz and Raul. And it says, which one is she? Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No. She's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. New vocabulary, tell me. Any question? New words? Okay, then let's begin with the practice. Let's see. Let's begin. Betsaida, you're the first. You're Liz. Hi, Ro. Hi, Ro. Good. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Thank you. Wilfredo, continue. Oh, she couldn't make it. Couldn't make it. Couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Very good. Nice. Daisy. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Thank you. Freddie. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Very good job. Nice. Thank you. Stella. No, he's the tall one in the jeans. In jeans. She's standing. Standing? Near the window. Thank you. Let's continue. Sulma. 
Oh, I didn't like meet her. I'd like to meet her. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Very good, nice. Okay, questions? I have a question. Yes, go ahead, tell me. She couldn't. Mm, couldn't. Yes. This one, this one is a contraction of a subject. It's like this, could not. Do you remember this, uh, um, the moral auxiliary can? Teacher is the past the can. Exactly, can. exactly. So we have can, but the simple passive could. But just that we have negative, right? So if we have here, could not in a complete manner, you can make a contraction and say, couldn't. Couldn't make it. No lo pudo lograr. She couldn't make it. Just remember that after the modal, we always use the verb, but in the base form. Any other question? I have a question. Go ahead. Yes. Eh, en lugar de could, se podría utilizar también can. ¿O por qué no se utiliza can? Mm. What happened is that can is simple present. Mm. And couldn't is past. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So all it depends Thank on you. the time. You're welcome. It depends on the time that you want to express it. And could is the past participle of... It's simple past. Simple past. Uh -huh, it's only what, simple it past. What, what it should be, what it will be the, the... The base form. The, no, no, no. The base form is, the base form is can. It's but can. The past, mm -hmm. the past participle? There is no past participle, but it's simple past form. When you have simple past of can, it's could. Because que, in the case of can, is a modal. It's a modal verb. Oh, but if you want to can, express... Can, can, it is not a verb. It's a modal verb, but it's an oh. auxiliary too. What happens ah, okay, is that okay. you need ah, a verb. That's true. That's true. Uh -huh. that's true. You need a verb to be accompanied. The verb is always in the base form. But when you, always, you always. use can like a verb uh, of poder, what is uh, the, the past participle? Because it's, not a past, it's not a past participle because it's a modal. Oh. But you can use the past the past form of models. Okay. But it's could. That is could. So there's no past participle form. What you can okay. use a past participle is the verb. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's simple past form. They are past thank models. You. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other one? Any other question? Hi. Which one? Hi. Hi. Hi is like hello. Uh, no. Uh, I I like to meet her. Oh, I'd like. I'd like. This one is a contraction of I would like. Just that that one is a contraction. If you want to say I would like in a shorter manner, then you would say I'd like. Me gustaría. This is another modal. Este es otro modal. Just that Thank when you, you welcome. Just that when you use can, we know is that simple present to show abilities that you have. I can play the piano. I can sing. I can cook. The simple past will be I could not cook. No podía. No pude. Right. That's the past. But good is for unreal situations. Good is para situaciones irreales. Hypothesis. We can use would. That's why here it doesn't say directly I like. No dice directamente me gusta, sino me gustaría. More questions? All right, let's move then to the next part. In this one, we have another video. 
we have more videos here. It says, in this session, we will learn to use modifiers with participles and prepositions. So basically, we're we going to use them, but to describe, continue describing what the subject is doing or maybe what they are wearing at that time. Let's verify this, but first we are going to pass the list. So let me know that you are present. And let's begin with Andrea. Andrea de Los Angeles. Present teacher. Thank you, Andrea. Betsaida Jasmine. Present teacher. Thank you. Brenda Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Carolina. Present. Thank you so much. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thank you. David Moises. Present. Thank you, David. Daisy Estefania. Present, teacher. Thank you. Diana Janmilet. Present. Thank you, Diana. Evel Jaciel. He told me he's listener today. Eric Ronaldo. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Estela Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Fatima Larisa. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Freddy Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Germán Ulises. Germán Ulises. Jennifer Saraí. Present teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Teacher. Yes. Teacher Germán Ulises, graduate present. It, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. We got Jennifer. Sí, soy metido. <laughs> Julia Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Maria Mercedes. Present Miss. Thank you. Marvin Vitalicio. Marvin. Remember I saw Marvin by there. Pablo Alejandro. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Raquel Esther. Raquel Esther. Roberto Carlos. Present. Thank you, Roberto. Sandy Roxana. Present. Thank you, Sandy. Wendy Adamaris. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Wilfredo Alberto. I hear the miss. Thank you. William Alexander. I think that I hear. Yes, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Selena Yamilet. Oh, Selena Yamilet. Yes. Zulma Natividad. I'm present. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Let's continue then with the next part. Marvin Wright in the group two. Thank you. Okay, in the WhatsApp group? No, 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 excuse me, in the platform. In the platform. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, let's move then dale, dale, to the dale, next dale. Part. Dale, activate the microphone. All right, thank you guys for informing. I can see you now, yes. Hey, apure, si, thank you, thank si you. No va a aprender, eso sirve. Pero es que eso le va a ayudar. All right, so let's see here on our next video, the last video of today. I watch the class on YouTube. Done and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. 
Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Right, so now let's see with the next part. This one is about modifiers with participles and prepositions. This is another way in which we can also describe a person. For example, here we have, whose role is the man wearing a green shirt? The participle is the one that contains a verb in the ing form. But it doesn't mean that the action is like occurring at the same moment. It's not present continuous. It's just giving a description of that. As remember that there exist present participle adjectives and past participle adjectives. So this one is one of it. Now, another way could be like this. Which one is role? He's the one talking to Liz. Now, what is the participle here? Talking. So that is the manner how you identify Raul in this case. So you're identifying the subject. So my participles always come from a verb, but they are acting as an adjective because they are describing the subject here. Now, in the case of the prepositions, remember that we have prepositions of places, right? Or many type of them. For example, who's Liz? She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the coach. So in this manner, you can describe the subject here using participles or using prepositions. Questions about this? Any question? No? All right, this one is just like the grammar form. But now let's see some of more examples. We got two pictures here. And we know that they have different characteristics. They are wearing different types of clothing. For example, who's George? He's the man wearing a button-down t-shirt. This one is using with a participle. The participle form here is the verb with the ing form. So it's describing it. So that is picture one or two. Which one is it? What is the meaning button-down teacher? But on down is like this. If you notice, they have different shirts. They are wearing shirts. But for example, this one, it has button down. It means I had the button open. Ah, okay. Right? Thank and you. this one, in number one, he doesn't have the button down. He has the button up. Okay. Because it's completely <laughs> closed. Right? Uh -huh. okay. The shirt is completely closed. And this one is a button down. Oh, well, actually, remember that this article can change because this one is referring to only one. It can be two buttons down, can be three buttons down, or it can be up. So this is the case describing using a participle. What about the next one? It says, which one is George? He's the one with the striped T-shirt. Now, here we're using a preposition. What's the preposition? With. So we have different manners to make a description here. All it depends how you want to do it. If with a participle or with a preposition. You can also use the case of describing 
uh, what about they, they look there physically? For example, if you describe number one, let's suppose that this one is Carlos, right? How can you describe Carlos? Carlos. How does he look like? For example, Carlos is very tall. He's very tall. Okay, very good. What else? Carlos what else can you tell? Carlos wearing a tie. Okay, Carlos is wearing a tie. Very good. What else? Carlos is funny. Okay, Carlos is funny. Yeah, look at his expression. Very good, nice. What about George? Now describe the other guy. Carl, uh, what is the name? George. Now this one will be, imagine that is George. George is have a blonde ah okay hair. has blonde hair very good yes george has blonde hair what else george is very tall light All right. light skin <laughs> okay he's light skin he's very tall very good that's nice is he fat or thin Thing. His thing. Uh -huh, his thing, Same. right? That's Same. good. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a nice description. Correct. Okay, what about this one? We have more examples here. Number one, it says, who's Jennifer? And here we have the description. You see that here we have six guys. There are three women and three men. But they have different description as physically. She's the short girl wearing purple clothes. Is the first one, right? Is the only girl that's wearing purple. Now, what is the participle adjective here in the answer? Wearing. Wearing. Exactly, that's good. So that's you're saying that, okay, instead of saying, ah, okay, she's a short girl. She's wearing purple clothes. You can put them together Two sentences, you can make them one and make the connection using here the present participle. What's the next one? Number two, which one is Albert? Let's see, which one it means like, cuál es? Sometimes it sounds like informal, but you can say it because you're talking about a specific person. Hey, which one is Albert? Which of the options, which of the persons that you have there? Now, in the answer, let's read the answer. Can you please do it, uh, Daisy? Read the answer, please. He's. He's the middle age. H. The middle He's age. the middle age guy talking on the phone. On the phone. That's right. Great. Look at the description. He's the second guy, right? He's not a young man, right? Because he's not like 20. He's not 30 years old. He looks like a 45, 50, maybe, probably 60, middle-aged. And it gives an important description here. He's talking on the phone. Tell, so, in, tell. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Maria? He's talking? Talking, talking. He's talking, ha having talking. a conversation. Okay. Talking. Yeah, Thank that's you. right. Thank you. Thank you. So instead Teacher, of saying, yes, go ahead. Excuse me, I have a question. Uh, why uh, the age have the D at the end, middle aid? Mm. Because, yeah, because it's acting not as a noun. No trabaja como un nombre de edad, sino como un adjetivo. It's like when you say de edad is an, a characteristic. It's so it's, it's, it's put it in past. No, it's past participle. It's pasado participio. Oh. Pero es una, es, una frase, es una frase compuesta, porque es middle age. Es como de edad mediana, right? Not very old, not very young. It's like 45 years old until 50. That's why it's middle age. Different than elderly. Mm -hmm. Different to elderly, right? That is considered 60 years old and up. 
but he's middle age. And this one transforms into a description, into an adjective. So what are you saying here? That he is right with this description. What about number three? Can you continue, please, Freddy? Who's Mike? What's the answer? He's a very tall guy looking at the cell phone. Looking at the cell phone. Thank you. Very good. Now, here, you are making two sentences in one to substitute and say, okay, he is very tall. He is looking at the cell phone, right? It's not necessary. That is also you can use it. But if you want to use only one sentence and to make it more practical, then with this participle, you're making one. You're making it. You put it together then. Let's see about number four. Which one is Tiffany? Sandy, are you here, Sandy? She's yes. the uh -huh. blonde. The blondie? Blondie, woman, 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 woman with a hat. With a hat, uh -huh. Thank she's you. The, uh -huh. She's the one? She's the one between. Uh -huh. Between? Between. Uh -huh. Albert and Alice. Thank you. That's good. Now, here we're using prepositions. If you observe here, we are not using a participle adjective, but we're using a form of preposition to connect the idea. So it's, it's just the blonde woman. It's not necessary to say in another sentence, okay, she's the blonde woman. Uh, she's wearing a hat. Put in this preposition, you don't complicate and make it more practical here. Another one is giving more information about the same person. She's the one between Albert and Alice. So notice Tiffany, she's between Albert and Alice. He is Albert, the middle-aged man or the middle-aged guy. And Alice is she. That's why you're saying that it's between, in the middle, right? Between Albert and Alex. And Alice. Let's see about number five. Continue with Herman. Eric. Are you there, Eric? Wendy Adamaris? Yes. Yes. Can you help us, please, with the next one, number five? Who's David? He's the fire short man with glasses. Thank you. Notice that here, the fairly short man, he is the only one that is very. Remember that? Fairly before. An adjective that means very, very short. It's like when you mention so short. To put more emphasis, right, on the height of the person. Because he's the fairly short man with glasses. Now, substitute here. Imagine that you have two sentences. You could say, he's the fairly short man. Period. Another sentence. He is wearing glasses. Or he is the man wearing glasses. Or he is wearing glasses. So don't complicate yourself. And you can use a preposition. And it's correct. And now you connect the two ideas and make only one sentence. You can make it short there. Let's see the next one, number six. Which one is Alice? Claudia Carolina, are you there? Claudia Carolina? Wilfredo? Which one is Alice? Is the one next to Tiffany. Mm -hmm. she's or, the tall, or she's the tall. She's the tall one in a yellow dress. Thank you. That's right. Good. So you're investigating like who's Alice? You need to know who is she. She's the one. The one is like when we say es la que, right? So that's that is not necessary to repeat again. 
Alice is the woman or Alice is the girl, right? No need. You see, the one is you're making a specific. It's like a subject pronoun like that to substitute or omit repetition here. Now, the uh, form of the preposition we're using here is next to. You're saying next to Tiffany. So if you notice about Alice, she's next to Tiffany. But here we're giving more information. It continues talking about Alice. It says, she's the tall one in a yellow dress. If you say only she's the tall one, well, but also Tiffany is tall. But saying here a specific description. Okay, now you identify who is the person here. Question about this. All right, now give me examples, please. I'm going to ask you, let's suppose that the one we say here is this man, right? We are going to describe this guy and this one is David, right? David is this guy. Fatima, can you please describe him? Who's David? Now give your own description. Different description than here. Yeah. Otra description. Aha, correct. About David. And David is this guy. Okay. His shirt is green. His shirt is green. Um, and jeans brown. And brown jeans. Ah, okay. And brown jeans. Um, here. Uh, color black. It. His uh, hair. Sure. Huh? His hair. And um, brown. It's short. All right. His it's, hair. No, no, no. Is is black in short. Ah, okay. His hair. Uh huh. Is His short hair. and black. Short. Or you can yes. say he has a short black hair. Okay. And how can you use here? A, a form of a preposition. How can you use a preposition here? Thank um, you. Yes. Thank you so much. William, use a preposition and describe him in a different manner. Who's David? William? David is the man who's watching um, the store. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a window that they have there, right? Okay, so you don't need to say who is watching. Omit that. Eliminate who's, and you can use the participle. Is the man watching? Is the man watching the window? That's all right. What is the participle there? Watching. Watching. Exactly. So in that case, you don't need to say, okay, he's the man that is watching or who is watching the window. You make it more practical. So you make it connection with the person. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, Wilfredo, what about if we talk about uh, Albert? And Albert is this man. Remember, is this one, right? The middle-aged guy. Uh, he's wearing um, uh, a brown jeans. He's wearing brown jeans. But remember here, you are going to omit he's wearing. You can say, he is the man wearing uh, brown, jeans. The man wearing yes. brown jeans. Uh -huh, that's good. What else? Any other description you can give? Uh, he's the man uh -huh. wearing a, uh -huh. a glasses. Wearing glasses. Wearing glasses. All right, that's go right. Yes, in that way you omit right. You don't make two sentences it's like he is wearing and he is talking or mm -hmm. he is standing or he is wearing. But 
you make the connection and this one transforms into an adjective. And you're using this to describe how the person is looking. What is the specific characteristic here? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we'll continue giving more examples about this. Questions about it, guys? Means I want to try. Go ahead, yes. All right, what about if I ask you, who's Jennifer? Remember Jennifer? Jennifer. Is this girl? Jennifer is the girl mm -hmm. who, what is wearing, or that is, is wearing. Is, uh, is the girl wearing? Eliminate is that. The, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Jennifer is the girl wearing um, a cup. Uh, that's all right. Yes, uh -huh. wearing a cup. Uh -huh. with, um, with red hair. Ah, that's good. Yes, mm -hmm. with red hair. And in a purple skirt. And a purple skirt. That's correct. Great. So mm -hmm. in that case, you omit, right? That is wearing, or who is wearing, or she is wearing. You put them together okay. and you link okay. it. You connect it. Thank you. That's very good job. Nice. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to continue tomorrow. I'm going to uh, like uh, send you other videos to more reinforcement and more exercise about this. Thank you, really. Thank, thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you, teacher. you so thank much. You. Thank, you. thank you so much. Bye -bye. Yes. Thank you. Let's Remember the platform. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Remember the exercises, please, on the platform. I finished. You. you finished. Cool. That's nice. You are free now. <laughs> yes, I nice. have a problem with what with um exercise. Uh huh. And number five. Number five. If you want, send me yes. the screenshot. Si gusta, envíeme eh, la captura de pantalla para ver cuál es el ejercicio. Okay, Miss. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Have a beautiful night. And Thank see you. you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow. See you good tomorrow. Night. Have a good, good night. night. Thank you. Too. See you tomorrow. Nice night. Teacher. Hello. You have a baby? No. Uh, okay. Oh, I, maybe I... because you saw it on the picture. It's my nephew. Ah, okay. Yes, I saw, it's my I saw nephew. That, that is your, your baby. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> He's my How little old are nephew. You? I'm 41. 41? Yes. 41. You are younger than me. Really? How old are yeah. you then? I 34. 44. <laughs> All right. That's good. We are middle aged now. <laughs> A little. <laughs> A little. All right. Do, do you have another class? Yes. I have to connect to another one. Okay. See you. See you. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs>